Bob Stoll, legendary Central Ohio coach, Hall of Fame coach in the state of Ohio. Coach Stoll here from the Gene Mills Clinic. Okay, I see some of your former wrestlers here. Let's talk about that, man. You were at uh, Bishop Reedy for a number of years. How many years? 12 years at Bishop Reedy from uh, 76 to 1988. Okay, and, and uh, actually I believe it was 87, 88, 86, 87, 88, you had Ken Ramsey. Yeah. Okay, you had the DeSabados. Yeah, we won a Medina tournament with those guys. Okay, and you were runner-up one of those years, right? Yeah, we were runner-up in uh, 83, 86, and 88. Okay, and how many times were you champs? We were champs in 1982. Okay, so you had how many top 10 finishes total as a head coach at Reedy? Uh, well, we were we, 11 of the 12 years we were in top 10. It's not bad. Okay, so you're one of the most successful private school coaches in Ohio in the late 70s and 80s. Then you, you make a shift, you make a move. Talk about that move, that first move. Well, we went, uh, went down to Cincinnati. I went to Westchester, Lakota, and, uh, you know, took over there in 1995. And then uh, in, 19, or in 1988, I took over there. Uh, took over in 1988, and then in 1990, uh, we won the district, and then uh, we ended up winning it three more times. So how many top ten finishes total do you have as a coach? Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen? Yeah. In divisions two and one? Yeah. Okay. So actually, you started, you were the coach, at, and Tommy Rollins came through the feeder program at Tommy Reedy, correct? Tommy Rollins and Ross Thatcher, all of the Sabados, uh, Kenny Ramsey came there. Uh, so how hard was it for you to leave? I mean, you had... I mean, clearly one of the greatest guys in Ohio, you know, he's a youth there. You know he's coming up in Tommy Rollins and Ross Thatcher. Oh, was, I mean, how hard was that decision for you to leave? It was an unbelievable decision, but at the time, uh, when I left Reedy, I was the athletic director, I was coaching three sports, I was teaching five classes, and I was making $24,000. That's Yeah, so, so it, was it was a family kind of a, decision? It was uh, economic, because uh, I got married, and uh, my daughter Molly was newborn and so I had, had to make a decision if, if I was going to stay in this for 30, 40 years, I wanted to have some kind of retirement and I wanted to be able to send the kids to college. So that's when I made the move to Lakota. So Mark Marinelli, the coach here now, he kind of made a similar move to right. you as well because he was at DeSales for all, all the years and he had, you know, yeah. he's a top 10, top yeah, 5 team. Mark Runnally. had the same uh, feeling I had. I mean, it was great every year you go to the state, you know, you know you're going to win it or you're going to be in the top five or whatever every year. And we had those kind of teams. Uh, we were first or second in the state for, or third in the state for like nine of 11 years. So uh, you had to give that up to try something new. But at Lakota, we had great success. Dublin Kaufman, we've, had, we've won the district a couple of times. We've had success. But the community feeling and the family feeling at Reedy was a lot different. And it was hard to leave knowing that you had Tommy Rollins coming up, Ross Thatcher coming up, you had all these guys coming through the program. It was, uh, it was very tough to leave. So then, after being at Lakota, then you made the move back to Columbus. And that was, again, that was family oriented. My mom was in the hospital, and the year before I left, I was coming back and forth. And I'd leave practice at 6.37, get here at 9 o'clock. And she was kidney dialysis, and I'd take her to kidney dialysis three times a week. Then I'd drive back to Cincinnati, be at school the next morning for the morning workouts at 6 in the morning. It was like a big drain on me. Yeah. And we didn't know if she'd live. I, I talked to the doctors, and they said she'd live another 10 or 15 years. Well, we moved to to uh, uh, Dublin, and the schools were splitting, so the athletic director asked me if I would take the job. Fine. You know, I was planning on uh, taking a sabbatical for a year and taking care of her, and I didn't know when I talked to the doctors that she would live so long. So we moved back, and then uh, I took a job at Dublin, and a month later she died. Oh. So it was kind of, it was hard to leave Lakota. Every place I've been, it's been hard to leave. Oh, okay. uh, but, uh, you know, it's more, everything's been family based. You know, I came back because of our, our parents both, you know, we were both from Columbus and my wife. So all the parents were here. Hey, Coach. Well, we're going to catch the rest of the Gene Mills Clinic and hopefully, you're still the head coach at Kaufman, correct? Right. I've okay. been there 14 years now. We want, we want to grab you sometime during the season, see how it's going for you, and, uh, hey, good luck. Okay, thank you.